Okay, YouTube, so in Sunday's video of live video game hunting, uh, the winter finds, you see where I picked up uh, this Game Boy for $15. Um, this thing came in really, really bad shape. It's missing the screen cover here. Um, it was just completely filthy and grimy and just nasty. Uh, we've got some really corroded battery contacts here. Um, pretty much all three of them have corrosion on them. And uh, we've got to get these cleaned up. The uh, CPU board um, has corrosion built up on the battery contacts here. And there is some corrosion down in the uh, headphone jack um, it's just it's just in really bad shape so the challenge here is going to be one to see if we can even get this thing working again and uh, and if we can then we're going to be modding it I don't even know if the screen works I guess I could throw it in um, another Game Boy just to see if it works but you can see all this dirt build up on the edges of the screen here. Um, the contacts here are just in really bad shape, need a, need a really deep cleaning. So what we're going to do with the battery terminals for one is uh, a little tip in order to help take some of this corrosion off is going to be to soak these in white vinegar. And what I use is just a, uh, a cheap little brand here. It doesn't have to be anything um, expensive. Just a distilled white vinegar solution. Um, and we're going to pour some in a glass and just let them soak for probably a couple of hours. So got a glass here and we'll just pour some of that vinegar in there. And we will just drop these contacts in there and let them soak. Um, already, I can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but you see that stuff just bubbling right off of those contacts? Let's see if we can move it off to the side there. But yeah. Um, it's starting to bubble up already so that vinegar is starting to eat away at that corrosion and that is fantastic that is what we want so let me get these spaced out here there we go and then we definitely definitely need to get these um, the shell in a hot soapy bath See if we can't scrape away some of this adhesive left over here. These membranes for the buttons are just nasty. Um, there's that one. I mean, that's just disgusting. Um, the A and B button membrane. Start select. Let's see, there we go. Just nasty. Um, the cartridge shield, the screws do have some some rust on them. So I'm going to drop those in the white vinegar as well. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to drop all the screws in there. And that will help get some of all that grime off of it. One thing that we can go ahead and do is um, we can take some of this white vinegar to the battery contacts here on this board. And if this does not work, um, I'm going to be ordering uh, some parts for this Game Boy anyway uh, for backlight, bivert chip, all that. 
and I can order some new battery contacts. Those battery contacts include these two right here as well. So we will have to desolder these off the board and then um, reattach them. But I'm fairly certain that I can get them clean enough uh, just to, you know, to be able to test whether or not this is this board even works. Um, I'm really hoping that it does, and I believe that we can get it uh, to function again. So, the uh, let's get to cleaning. Okay, so I've got the shell and the membranes and all the buttons uh, washed. Gave them a nice hot soapy bath um, scrubbed them down after I scrubbed them down I uh, also took a magic eraser and really cleaned up as much of that gunk and grime as I could now we need to focus on these boards these boards are in really really dirty condition so I've got a whole bunch of q-tips here and some 91% isopropyl and we are going to go to town on these. Okay, so I have thoroughly cleaned both of these boards and we are going to finally test just to see if this unit even works and if it needs more work than just a very good cleaning. Um, I soaked the screws into the white vinegar as well and they came out looking great. The battery contacts look so much better than they did. Uh, they're not 100% on uh, color here. Um, you can see it's still a little brown, but all of that corrosion has been eaten away. But I believe that these should, should work. So we're going to test everything. So let's get this board screwed down. And we will throw some batteries into it and test it and make sure it works that's what i'm most curious about why we still haven't even tested this this unit yet so there's some screws holding that in and then we need to bend these tabs a little bit so that they lock in place on the battery contacts so let's bend them up just a little bit i believe that's the way they need to be bent Nope, they need to be bent the other way. So let's go in like that. There we go. And we'll just drop that down in there. Come on. There we go. And the other two contacts. And then a little bit. I'll slide that back in. There we go. And the third and final one. And then we can throw some batteries in and hook the screen back up and see if this even works. All right, so there we go. Now let's throw these batteries in. And excuse me for bumping the screen there. Let's get this screen reattached. Screen looked really good after uh, cleaning it. Actually, everything's starting to look really good. There we go. Let me see. All right. So, moment of truth. Let's turn it on. 
it powers on. And what kind of contrast do we have here? Oh, great. Yes. Look at there. No dead pixels. Screen looks great. All right. Let's uh, jack this volume all the way up. Turn it off. And then turn it back on. if we all right so the speaker works well too now I'm gonna grab a game and we will test that the cartridge reader works okay so I got my good old trusty Tetris here we're gonna pop that in and let's turn this back on fantastic we got the Nintendo logo. Yep, everything works great. Looking good. All right, so I am very happy with this. Um, we were able to take that junk, nasty looking Game Boy with the nasty battery contacts. The board was looking nasty, the screen was nasty. Didn't even know if it worked, and sure enough, it fires right up. So that definitely makes me happy. All right, but that is going to do it for, uh, for now. I will show you uh, the shell and what it looks like all put back together, and we can do a before and after comparison. Okay, so we have thoroughly cleaned the shell. We've got all the components installed, everything put back together, and folks, take a look at this. I mean, that thing looks gorgeous. It is, however, still missing the screen cover. But when I ordered the uh, clear blue shell to do the mod in, uh, in that refurbished video, whenever they send you a shell, they send you a standard gray plastic screen cover. So I could go ahead and install this and and it'd be great um, but I believe we're gonna mod this and so let me go ahead and get this removed again the screen cover it kind of fit in there nicely didn't it let me see if I can get my razor blade And that way we can at least just test and make sure that everything still works and functions the way it should. There we go. All right. Also, it's missing the battery cover. However, I've got spare. So, there we go. Looking great. All right. Let's get the batteries installed. And get the game plugged in. We'll go ahead and throw that on there. And fire this thing up again. There we go. Let's see if we can't get this to run through. Make sure all the buttons function the way they should. All right, starts working. Make sure select. Left and right is working. And A and B are working great. There we go. Fantastic. There you have it, folks. 15 bucks is what I paid for this. I literally put maybe 45 minutes to an hour into it cleaning it up um, the longest part really was cleaning the board and cleaning all the shells and components or cleaning both the shells and components that's really it um, the white vinegar did most of the work eating away all that corrosion and yeah so now we got a functioning game boy I can turn around and resell this right now as it stands and make some good profit 
but we're going to take this one one step further and we're going to totally mod this. And folks, I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and leave that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get notifications every single time I upload new content. Hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tata Collector and have a good one.